Okay guys, so yes, welcome back to another video. We are heading to Cuba. Wow. We are heading to... Right, and I'm gonna give you guys a full insights of the trip when we get there, but we are at the gate boarding. Yeah, as a working girl, you know, I'm just starting to vlog and all that stuff, but I'm super excited. I know we're gonna have a good time. You know, so um, yeah, I'll check in back with you guys when I get on the flight. Hey guys, so we're well, walking the plane right now. There it is. Can we take a stop in front of the plane, guys? On the like a shot. Oh, look. Just a pic, just a still. So guys, whenever I travel, I have my little travel pouch, you know, I have my comb, my fan, because we're going to a tropical country, I have my battery pack, my lip gloss, my car mix, just all my little essentials that I may need on flight, and of course, I cannot forget my dossier. No, I'm going to be packing two of them, amber vanilla, and also gourmand white flowers just received amber vanilla and i'm halfway through like i cannot believe it i have to get a new one so let me just tell you some more information and you know i love dossier why it's travel friendly it holds in my pouch super easy just like that there's no spillage it's magnetic the top is magnetic it's 1.7 ounces and they're made in france so you know it's top quality fragrances they're affordable they range from 29.99 and they're all your favorite scents at a fraction of the cost amber vanilla is inspired by ysl's black opium it is 29 dollars on the site it is an iced vanilla latte that's the scent i get from it i actually believe that this is better than the original fragrance to be honest and these are the top notes mandarin pear pink pepper licorice middle notes jasmine orange blossom base notes cedarwood patchouli vanilla and coffee now with dossier you can always try and then decide if you do like it you can return it it's that simple and guess what amber vanilla is best paired with gourmand white flowers so this is a perfect duo gourmand white flowers is inspired by victor and Rawls floral balm and it is 29.99 on dossier site it's a bubbly sweetness fragrance with a splash of vanilla free returns no question asked it's that simple and it is cruelty free colorant free and it is travel friendly so it's just my cute little pouch that i'm going to be taking with me on flight i just wanted to share with you guys so all the information of course will be below so guys definitely get your hands on some dossier it's gonna be a very hot summer and you just want to touch up you know sometimes get your fragrance on smell nice and sweet and yeah you're gonna thank me later so get your hands on some dossier these are my favorite love them why well, guys when i turn a light it's a caribbean busy man more bad than people on the plane like the people going back home had like three, four bags each. The overhead bins are not even 20 inches in height. I mean, I talk about big overnight bag, hand luggage. There's it can't hold a hand luggage suitcase and then pull up your bag. Look, 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 no, tell them, tell them no, what I got, Alyssa. No, it is brutal. I'm more about, I'm more about for land people than the plane. And it can't even, like, so the space here is already so limited. Limited space. The over, oh, there's no overhead being over there. It was only, yeah. it was only one so, so it's three persons per row. One on the left and two on the right. I'm going to take nobody in them assigned seat. And then the aisle is also small. Oh yeah, the aisle is very small. Rowan can't stand straight in the plane. Nobody is in their assigned seat. The bathroom is way at the back. There's only one emergency exit. People there with camping bag, hand luggage, carry-on bag, supermarket bag, shopping bag. There's more bags than people on the plane. I'm the plane are overweight. 
because it's not even the bag with them check on. And the plain liquor. Yeah, 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 the Guys, so we just landed in Cuba. Thank you, Father God. Thank you. It was a really great flight. It was pretty smooth, no turbulence. And it was quick. We got here in 30 minutes or less. Yeah, pretty, pretty quick. I wish there was some sun outside I could so show you guys um, the airport but unfortunately it is now 8.20 in Cuba we were supposed to get here an hour and a half ago but nonetheless thank you God we made it safe and we are hoping to have a great trip so it says International Antonio Maceo I'm not saying it right but I know Oh yeah, so... Kevin, how was the flight? Come back! How was the flight? Oh, thank you, thank you! Yeah, I'm busy. What would be 30? 30 minutes or less, no cap. You gotta make sure you can, you know. You gotta make anti liquor. She's just gonna rush me then. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we're in Cuba! <laughs> it's super excited, it's kinda hot still. It's not kinda, it is hot. Warm over here. We're gonna get Ruby wasted. What kind of wasted? Ruby wasted. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Look at my Cuba warm! Guys, in here it's packed. We'll have a I'm gonna lock up the sardine. Can I escape or can I come out? Don't forget. We're on a sweat, you know? In your hot man. No AC. Thank you, Bob. Are you like party? No, we want to party. We want to party. Well, they're waiting with you with a mix of dance, also, salsa. clean out there very clean and when you come to Cuba ensure that they do not stamp your passport with your American visa stamp the Cuban visa that they give you before you travel I'm so confused so I gotta taste the water and tell her why you want she taste the water first well Mary because Eve never do things first so taste the water they can't see the water Look at the cloud. Because it's chill. Not that. <laughs> Don't kill me, please. Like you can't drink that beer, you have a tears. Let me see if you have a tears because you're very dramatic. I want enough to have tears. It's about tears. Cloudy. Oh, by the way, guys, we're going to check on tours and experience. When we got out of the hotel, we can't tell them because this is so awkward. So awkward. 
Okay, people are on the bus now. I'm it surprised my battery lasted. 10.45 at night and I have not It's not chugged on of course. The bags took long to clear. I'm blowing out of my mic, you know? Chilling. I'm blowing out of my mic. Oh, I'm not introducing you. yourself, Kevin Webby. Let's do the hotel food done. Hotel food done. Free a chicken back again. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kiva. Thanks. Special welcome to Santiago de Cuba. So first of all, so first of all, I would like to introduce our driver. The driver's name is Adonis. Adonis. The God of Love, Mr. Adonis. So he's going to be with us and he's going to, uh, you know, show you our city and our destination. My name is Barbaro. No, you have Barbara in my name, you know, in Spanish, Barbaro. Okay, then please don't change my name, okay? Oh. <laughs> so, so, Barbara, I will be entitled to dispose of whatever you need. I will be here just to help you, Barbaro. The program will start at 9 o'clock in the morning. So, we're going to explain to you tomorrow what we're going to do. Alright, guys, so we made it. We're here. That was our bus. We're staying at the Imperial Hotel. I'm tired. So we're at the Imperial Hotel. Oh, yeah, we're at it. Right. Hello, my run too. All right. Tired. So, here it is. Guys, we are trying to be a part of people. I just want to lay down my warm bed. I want to lay down my hunger, man. Like, it's literally 11.30. I will have an eaten. And, I mean, the hotel is very rustic. It looks nice. But we just... So, I'm just want to serve all of it. We just want... I want to look at soon. Look at shoulder. I just want to lay down. I'm going to angle that. Thank you. So, don't drink it. Thank you. Guys, as you can see, we made it to the hotel. We're having some dinner right now. Um, yeah. The bread. Bread nuts. Bread. Wow. Bread is very sweet. Wow. It's a lot of um. This is not soup, no. Okay. This is a juice. What? Cool. You know, you know what? No. What? What? What, what is it? What? Shrimp? I don't eat. Shrimp. 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 Okay, so the main course came. I'm not really sure what's going on. Um, this looks like rice with some chicken breast, I believe. Um, Alright guys, we got stuff for this right here, but we're not going to make it. We don't want to eat the chicken still. So we're not going to make it. We're not going to eat this The rice can't eat though, it's like a nice fried rice. Hey, I have to leave the phone closed so the Wi-Fi pick up back, you know. If you're, if you're, if you're troubling, troubling too much, it's not grab it back. You just leave it and it will pick up back and the Wi-Fi should not stay. Would it be something I would eat? What is? 
mango. I didn't even taste it. You tasted the, 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 the fruit somehow? No. I don't know. You like it? It's not a fruit though. It's pumpkin? Just I'm wondering if it's like a chutney type. It, I don't know. I won't eat it though. I'm, I'm good. Just give it a pumpkin vibe. Oh, you just tried it? Yeah, I tried it too. It's like a pumpkin vibe. Well, I guess rice is it for dinner. <laughs> Now you kill me now. At least we're gonna lose the weight. I'm gonna look all over. I should look up on my Cuba. Unless we're coming to the back. I'm gonna go back once to food now. Chum guys. Pudding situation here. I'm not sure what it is, but we're just gonna how it is. Check your face out. My side. We're gonna have our coffee for now. It tastes like. It tastes like the gelatin part. It's like gelatin. -y. Oh, that's oh, nice. The gelatin part is nice. Let me tell you. What is it? Is it like, remember, it's like a curd. 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 It's not hard. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. Okay, guys. So we are here. So room tour real quick. Guys, it's been a long day. I am tired. But we are here in Cuba and I'm grateful to God be the glory. We're soon talk, but let's do a quick room tour. So this is the bathroom. I love the lighting in here. I was really hoping that it was a bath, but nice bath. Yeah, toilet. Um, so this is the closet. Hangers, blanket, iron, fabulous. Hold on. Fabulous stuff. Really nice room. It's rustic, but still modern. I'm loving the orange and the green. That's really nice. Love the headboard. The headboard is fabulous. AC, thank God. Love the light. Everything in here is really nice. Oh, I like this. And like I said, we're at the Imperial Ibera Star. Um... Oh, I was hoping that there's like a balcony or something here. I don't know how this go. Oh, there is a balcony. But we know what we know what open town lizard out there. Let me not. So um oh and of course I have a mirror. Cute. Yeah. So guys, um Dinner wasn't so great, so I had a cup soup, me and Kevon Perry, and we got some hot water. Everybody grudges for our cup soup because we knew I guess I killed them. Usually I would buy food at the airport, but this time I didn't, and we come, and the food wasn't so great. But tomorrow's another day, so I'm going to have my cup soup, relax a little bit, take a shower, and probably talk to you guys, maybe unpack tonight, maybe tomorrow, I don't know, it is... 12.50 and we've been traveling from I was at the airport from 3 o'clock I'm in Cuba, super excited and of course big up to Shagod Tours Thank you so much for having me and we're gonna have a really great time with my friend Bye, catch up with you guys tomorrow for day 2 Morning, so I'm getting ready now I'll soon show you guys a fit So today um, Breakfast was 7.30 but I already knew I wasn't gonna be doing that I know my phone kicked me out of iMessage. No Wi-Fi. So today's outing um, entails departing to the Melia Santiago Hotel and to the presentation of the Santiago destination, have a show and departure to the town of El Cobre, amongst other things. It's 9.30. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that is just getting up. So i try to reach those stairs for 9.30. It's 9.22 actually. The show was a little bit challenging to you, but there was hot water. 
I'm gonna have to sit and talk to you guys about my room later on. It's a nice hotel, pretty decent. However, we're gonna talk about that later. Yeah. This is my Wet and Wild translucent powder. Um, powder mix it with the Ben Eye powder as well. I wish I had like a, a WhatsApp group. But then again, there's no internet, so. So I can do like the updates if we're running late today, if everybody's awake, like what's, if they went to breakfast already. I don't know, there's not really much to work with, but. We move. I'm on the second floor. Claire's on the first floor, so. And I'm not even sure what room Rohan is in. I literally, we were so tired, like I forgot to call him to his room or check it out and vice versa. But we did speak to each other when we got to. Hold on, I hear the door knocking. Oh, oh. I called Faith wrong number this morning. I can try calling him by 105? What are you doing? 106? Oh, we'll call 103, 102. 106. Why didn't you call 106? Now we outside knocking on. It's a 120 Wi Fi. No, I don't. You left it on. I'll take you off. I'll not call it until 3 in the morning. You know, when you come out of it, it doesn't stay, right? I don't know. I came out of it. I just woke up to Admiral's kicking me out. So even with the two beds, they look small? Mom. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, you have so much space. What the hell? Aye, aye, aye. Ha. Oh, you got the shirt before? No. I remember I was supposed to go for a curacao. You rented oh. it in the video. Yeah, like a power line. It shows you how long, sir? Yeah, because when you come out of the logging back, every single time. Oh. Right. So it gives you four hours, but four hours of usage. We got to iPhone kicking me out. Right. Yeah, so. Hi, guys. So that's that. Just straight my hair right here, so and that's it. The nice colors. Is it your birthday funds? No, it's not. Oh, we're gonna go to the Wii launch at Auntie Karen. Mm. Yeah, up at Aunt Gina was there years ago. Oh, right. Yeah. Damn. We're gonna have to pull out a dart. But it couldn't be worse. We're not that fast. Just one dart. <laughs> Just one dart. Yeah, I'm not going to be a little bit better, guys. Alrighty, guys. Mama Sita is ready. Coming. Alrighty guys, this is the outfit of the day. Cute, cute. I love it. Yeah. Cute by Cuba. This is my bag. I'm gonna make sure I watch. Um, these are my Aries. And I think I like it. Super ready, super excited for the day. So I'm gonna meet Ron in his room and get back to you guys. I'm not going to next one. Oh, there's no internet. Well, good morning, people. Right. Right. Okay, so this is Rohan's fit. What's there, honestly? I 
Oh, to the Cuba, right? All wearing. Uh, Sheen. Right. <laughs> Remember what we're wearing today? Um. Sheen. Oh yeah, this is Sheen, and this is also Sheen. Oh, Sheen has good job as well. Yeah. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. This is from like 2016. So it's a nice. Alright yes. guys, so this is the breakfast. I have like sauces here. You know what that is? Sauce. I have bread, bread, croissants, bread. I think this is cereal, bread. And then they have some pineapple, mango. I think this is some different type of fruit, cheese, sauce. I believe juices. And this is like a sorbet situation. So, um, yeah. So, all right, so I'm just looking forward to taking some pictures today in Cuba. I don't really eat. Hi guys, good morning. So this is from Sheen. This is from Forest 21 from 2016. These are Zara sandals. And it's from Sheen, but it's no longer in stock, sorry. Right. Yeah. Right. So it's sold out. <laughs> Here. Is that such a Sheen people? Is that from Right. Oh, shoot. I don't have any more internet. So, we chat out the internet last night from Brooklyn, so I'm not on my internet, so I'm going to check in back with you guys. My heart. So we're on the bus. Um, hoping I can show you guys a little bit more Cuba while we're on our journey. Um, yeah, so hopefully I can capture some footage for you guys. Yeah. The second most important street in downtown, the name is Aguilera. The so one of those good names is City We're passing by this beautiful area. I will let you know where we are, of course. The next one. The other street, the parallel one, is the main street. That's the one that takes from the third most important square to your hotel, Imperial Hotel, and then it takes down over there to the bay. There is a beautiful bay in Santiago de Cuba. There is a nice view. Many people go over there on Saturday, Sunday, every night to drink. You see, there are going to be many people walking around in the streets, making party, many families, many friends, couples, people trying to have fun with the uh, we have with tea, uh, rum, they go to any corner, you know, where they play music. At this we have that tradition, there are many corners and many places where people go to play. 
Cuban traditional music. Hmm? Santiago, the cover of many we arrive to Melia Santiago. They have something prepared for us. They're going to explain all the activities that we, we plan to do here in Santiago. They will explain better the destination. In a humble way, if I can do something for you, I will do it. I have experienced 27 years of two guys and two operators. I work for Canadians, so, like from Toronto, Montreal, English and French speakers for 11 years, and two guys that have done this job. So, if I don't know something, back in 1991, by the owner and the manager of the Melia, the hotel chain, you know, and Fidel Castro himself, who was here in 1991, the three of them founded that hotel with about 300, 302 rooms exactly. It owns the same colors of the Cuban national flag, blue, red, and white, right? And um, on the top, over there, on the top of the, of the building, I mean, in the last floor, they have uh, an amazing view. <laughs> we are up to? Yep. <laughs> Malaya. 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 Hey guys, so we are at a hotel and we've been just touring the hotel and so we tried going to the bar to get something to drink but per card decline and my card decline it was like four dollars we only had us and then they didn't have any pesos to give us back in change so we're just really parched right now they're trying to see if they can get some um wi-fi but cuba cuba is trying to conserve because like everywhere we go it's like no ac or something or so pretty much they're like renovating this hotel it has like presidential suites we went up to the 15th floor where i showed you guys we're back in the lobby but I'm just really thirsty, like, jeez. I'm so thirsty. So yeah, Perry's trying to get some um, Wi-Fi right now. And yeah, but it's a cute hotel. Um, the decor is really nice. That's the bar way, so it's trying to get something to... I'm actually tired. Like I just feel like I was hoping for more of like some excursions, some ATV, like you know, some fun stuff. But still early. I mean, it's just pretty much day one, really officially day one here in Cuba. So I think we'll have another day, and then we we'll head somewhere else. So yeah, I'm gonna keep you guys updated. And I'm hungry because the food this morning was just eggs, basic eggs and the croissant was good but I didn't eat the eggs. I'm not really an egg person, I don't like the rawness of it. So um, yeah, but I have my Gatorade and stuff in my room so I can't wait to head back and have that. I, I, even Oh, and apparently I had a mini fridge in my room so I put them in the fridge to cool so I'm going to have those later and maybe another cup of soup but who knows I might just lose some weight here in Cuba because there's nothing here that I want to eat but I was speaking to the 
one of the staff here and he was saying that the dish in Cuba, like the national dish is like a crispy pork, like a pork with beans. So I want to see if I can try that before I head back. But of course, like up the video so far and I hope you're enjoying the vlog while I'm here in Cuba. Small place here. And next to this place we have the cabaret that is the second oldest one of Cuba. The oldest cabaret of the island is located in Havana, Tropicana, Havana, 1939. This cabaret was founded only four years later, 1943. Tropicana Santiago, 1991. Tropicana Varadero, 1997. We have three Tropicanas in Cuba. This okay, so we're at the market, like a flea market. We're at the Ford. Oh, it's a Ford it's slash... A, it's a Ford, but they have Higglers out here because it's also a tourist destination. Because he was paying attention in class. Yes, you never hear when um, Barbara was talking. Can I talk to, can I to Barbara? <laughs> <laughs> this is a military zone, yeah. apparently. Um, no, la salsa cubana, la salsa del amor. Hay mapas, hay cachimba, mapa. Oh, nice. Wait, everyone. El domeno, mi vida, mira, el precio de la galería es 35, pero ahora se lo puedo dejar por 20. Ve, le puedo hacer un descuento. ¿Cómo se dice? 20. Este, mira, es Magic Book. Este es el único que tengo de, de caja mágica. Se lo puedo dejar en 20. ¿Cómo se dice? 20. Este es 5. Esta es la salsa. Esto se desmonta para transportar. ¿Cómo se dice? Esta es la salsa. Esto es cuero de vaca. Cuero de la vaca. Es el cuero de la vaca. Could get the domino, we'll come back. Oh, I like this. How much is this? This is for five. Five US? Yes. Mm. I like this one. This is price the gallery. Mira, I know the price. This is question 10. In good price, five. Oh, five. Okay. We have some paintings here. Buy more than one. I'm going to go kill me out here. Kill me. But we're thirsty. Most of all, I'm really thirsty. Just want to go back at this point. But obviously, I'm happy to be here, so I'm not trying to complain. I'm going to take a souvenir, but I want it broken on the full case. I'll go back. I'm going to vex. Yeah. I'll see you to get the clutch dog. At first, I'm going to have to be here. It's lucky. I get thirsty. It's a Spanish dog, yeah. Hola, Blacky. <laughs> No, it doesn't. It's so, just a rim throwing you okay, off. Yeah, the rim, but the rim can't come off. I love my friends. I eat it. I'm so easy. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. It's doing it. Papi, papi, mirror, mirror, here, mirror. Okay. Pin, papi, pin, pin back, pin back. No, me gusta. No, me gusta. Okay, okay. Oh, no, no, it's cute. Okay. Yeah. I don't know why. Oh, no, no, no. I should have brought some singles with me. Yeah. Guys, I am thirsty. I am hungry. Oh my gosh. Whew, I know it, bro. All right, so. I'm not going to make this real. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my God. No. Why don't with them a shake? Hello, hello. Hello. One coffee, please. 
Okay, guys, so we're touring. Um, what these woods are, we don't know. Let's see. Jesus Christ in my body. So, we're touring guys, touring, touring, um, oh, it's a really good view. She said this, this is one dollar. dollar. This is one dollar? Yeah. It's one dollar US? Yeah, it's one dollar US. So how much is this in US? It's mil. Mil. Mil is quanto dollar? This is one dollar US. Mil dividir mil entre 190. One dollar. Ocho dollars. This is eight dollars. Okay, cien. Uh, I'm so, hey, hey, make sure to tell them that this is only eight dollars. Only eight dollars. One thousand dollars is eight US dollars. Guys, this is only eight US dollars. Yeah. 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 So this is only eight US dollars. This is crazy. Regular. Peso, it's my it's side. We're not ball at all. Not balling at all. No, man. That's crazy. No, the touring is the seafood suit, guys. Yeah, but your eyes are active. And oh, we see the rice in there. Can so we have some more bread? Such a cultural experience. I don't want the rice though, just the soup. <laughs> we said the same thing. This is bean and rice, chicken, pork. Oh, I got a mojito. So, guys, we did an exchange a cup of soup, but we can have half for some pesos to buy a drink. In a sister. Sugar not grind out yet. Look at the sugar. Heading back now, guys. Tired. It's really hot, but the food I couldn't eat the chicken and the pork. But after understanding a lot more about the Cuban, the Cuban history, the rice wasn't so bad. No behavior. That's your block, sir. Yo, the man are reversing up. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. After understanding the cube, and he should no, understand yeah. why there's no flavor. Yeah. I'm leaving them? We are leaving the turning bus, yeah, sir. Turning bus. Yeah, so we'll head back to Imperial Hotel. And we'll. We're going to come back. Oh, I'm not sure that they're not talking to you. But they're turning, yeah. So now I left the camera on the bus. When you see this footage, you realize that I was a silly move. We're in the middle of Cuba, Santeri, Cuba. And you just left it on the bus. But you're coming on now, so I'm gonna just end this before you notice. Guys, you had so much fun. No, you have fun. Don't have fun. Look, mash up now. Mash up. We're heading back to the hotel. Look, like, Cuba, come out at night. This is the outfit of the night. Um, 
little dress from Zara, Louis bag. So we're heading to Tropicana for a quick little show. I think it's an early Father's Day celebration. So when I get there, I will update you guys. I'm tired. I haven't eaten anything apart from the rice. So yeah, we're heading on the bus now. Is it San Diego? San Diego? San Diego. San Diego is very busy on this Saturday it's night. Saturday like. Everybody was setting up the music yeah. and stuff when we and came off the bus this afternoon. Monday. So, yeah, um, I'm hungry, that's all I can say. If or when you're planning to come to Cuba, bring your snacks, bring juice, bring water, bring your tin supplies that you'd like, your cheese, things that you want to be snacking on because so far I have not enjoyed any food here. Especially that the chicken and the pork is not really seasoned. So, just a tip for you travelers who are interested in coming to Cuba. So, bye! we're gonna go find something to do today but before I begin I just want to say big up to Shagod Tours for having me on this trip thank you so much guys for having me here in Cuba I really really appreciate the experience guys if you're interested in touring Cuba or any other Caribbean country or any country in the world definitely follow Shagod Tours on Instagram and all socials this is something they do you know they can help you plan that perfect vacation you've always wanted and of course i've always wanted to visit cuba but you know we all heard some things and we've just never been i had the idea that i'm gonna come and not have internet no good food um i'm gonna be locked off away from the world i'm not gonna have any communication outside of cuba that's not the case so this trip has definitely been an eye-opener for me let me start off by when i was going on the plane and the Cubans were coming back home. We were, I was judging them a little bit because I was saying, damn, why do they have so much bags that they had? Camping bags, hand luggages, just simple things that we take for granted in Jamaica. It's a big deal here for them that they had like artificial flowers, just so much stuff to take back home because it's very much limited here. In terms of the food now, I've really enjoyed rice and beans since I've been here. The meat, not so much. But based on the director from Chagall, she just explained to me like Cuba doesn't really have a choice. Like the Cubans, they work with what they have. They have a lot of land space. I feel like they could probably grow more, eat what they grow more, but that's not the case. And 
the food is very bland down to what we take for granted as we take barbecue sauce for granted soy sauce mrs dash they don't have that here they give the best of what they had so on our first day here when we had dinner 85% of us wasted the food because it did not have any flavor. It was not to our liking. And I literally saw the chef or the manager peep through the doors like, hey, why are they wasting the food? But it was such a culture shock for us that we really, I couldn't eat it. And as such, I would recommend if you're coming to Cuba, bring your snacks. Bring. I had some cups who brought my Gatorade, my water, my ginger ale because I know I get motion sickness. Bring your Vienna sausages. Bring things that you can eat and fuel yourself because... If you are a picky eater, you're definitely not going to like the food here in Cuba. But so far, the rice and beans wasn't bad yesterday. I had it with cucumber, but in terms of meat, no matter where I've been, I have not enjoyed any meat thus far. Um, the Cubans, when we left the airport, some people came on the bus, staff from the airport. And I was like, is this a chartered bus? But Cuba doesn't have uptown, downtown, middle class. They're all one people and so they're allowed to come on the bus because they're looking for a ride home. How dare we tell them that they can't come on our bus, they were just looking for a ride home. It seems like here in Santiago de Cuba, um, taxes are quite limited. Um, we picked up Cubans to and from different destinations and they rode with us to their destination. And they were pretty much friendly and they've always said thank you, bring us to us, bring us touches and they came off. Um, I find, well, based on my observation, they entertain themselves, driving through the communities, you know, they're talking to their neighbor, their friend, everybody just outside, chillaxing, engaging with one another. They don't, well, I can't say if they have a TV or not. I don't know what they have in their house, but it seems 95% of when I'm driving through these areas, they're talking to one another, but cleaning up their yard, keeping busy, engaging with themselves and one another because they don't have much, but they make use of what they have now when coming to jamaica i was told if you're a u.s citizen well you guys would do your research on that part but as a jamaican coming to cuba do not have them stamp your passport especially if you would like to go back to the united states they will stamp the user visa card that you get upon arrival um what else what else what else so they went to the beach today and they're going to do a rum tour but yesterday was just so hectic for us um you guys would have seen the footage so today we're just gonna try and see if we can find some street food and do our own little thing but so far chaga they have done their best and i would definitely be looking to book with them in the future again i'm really grateful that you guys invited me on this trip thank you so much i never thought that i would be in cuba no like it's been on my mind but it was never like oh i have to go to cuba this is why you literally have to travel more experience more because the houses, they look so much like Jamaica, like I'm driving, I'm like, hey, that looks like Tivoli Garden, that looks like Corville, like, based on Curacao, Cuba, I've been to Curacao, I've been to Cuba, and there are similarities, also, everybody here is very much educated, majority of the musicians, I was told, they all have like a master's or a bachelor's in music, so yesterday was Saturday evening, and every corner had some group of men setting up, or a woman setting up to play music, setting up them bass to have some fun um the thing the event we went to last night was pretty fun we left at midnight and people were coming in the dancers were great the singer was amazing um the food not so bueno but we move um yeah so it's our final day in cuba and i'm just truly grateful i will link all the information to chagod tour company below so you guys can query and plan your destination trip with them. I'm sure you're gonna have a great time. And yeah. So let me just show you guys my outfit of the day. These are my earrings. This is my top. And I'm just I'm wearing a skirt. Crush easily. It's from Sheen. My Michelle watch. So try to decide the shoes. And I did not know I had a TV in the room until Rohan mentioned it yesterday. Like and also download all your shows and stuff on your phone guys so you can keep entertained when you're planning to visit Cuba and if I have any more tips and stuff I will share with you guys that's just a little TED talk, a little tip with Cuba with Tanoya yeah so I'm gonna see if Rohan and Kevon is ready and we're gonna hit the streets
Hey guys, so it's our final day in Santiago, the Cuba. If I was saying it wrong all along, my apologies. <laughs> Santiago. <laughs> right, it's so the fit for the day from QP. What the Carmen, man? Right. Right, give us a little step. And then this is Kevon's yeah. fit for the day. Buenos dias. Right, and this is my. Sandals. Let me take a look. Sandals. Sandals. I think I lost weight because the skirt big. I'm gonna eat from the bomb. Skirt big, but like we have not eaten a, a steady meal since we've been here. Yeah. What did you have? God bless you. And they eat, and they eat the chicken and pork yesterday. Oh, I had that, but I wouldn't call that. Wouldn't eat that. I wouldn't call that real. But we're hoping to find something palatable today. Right. Um, and just Santiago, immerse ourselves in this experience. Oh, they have pizza. We don't even have no pizza for food. Oh, that's, that's so We don't even have any pizza. And everybody the pizza is gone. No, no. No, no funny. We have no peso. Yeah, you're hungry. No peso. You're hungry. You're hungry. You're hungry. No, you're hungry. One peso. Sir, don't touch me. One peso. One peso. No peso. No peso. Come on, No peso. 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 So we we decided to come here by ourselves with no translator. But you can't hear me, no translator at all. I just vibes the menu. I want book leave. Book leave and in, in Spanish. Uh, no English? Okay. What, what what would you recommend? Why do I use the word recommend? We're stressed. The menu is on a book leave and we, they don't know English. Alright, so we're we'll venturing off somewhere, guys. So me I try out a pizza but I don't know how to say topping in Spanish and I'm like topping no topping no topping no Uh, pollo? Si, sí, pollo. Sí. Pollo y frito? Frito, si. Sí. Okay. They have chicken and fries. Yo quiero el pollo frito. So, Frank, we're trying to figure out what exactly. 550? Five, 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 oh, so $5.50. Pollo de salsa. Si, pollo de salsa. En salsa, en salsa. 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 Oh, oh, sauce? Salsa, 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 tomato, tomato. It's a, veget it's a vegetarian cereal. Hunger for your vegetarians. The pollo de sal, dos de sal, dos de salsa. No, pregunto, las pongas de pollo con vegetal. Eh, del, de ese de pechuga, de a la juliana, troceada a la juliana. ¿Por qué no pizza, Tanora? Ah, pizza? Pizza, ¿eh? Ah, ah, shit, Tanora. What kind of pizza? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. fly my God. Oh, my Literally. Fly, just pure fly. They have a fly issue. Fly just them over the place afar. Like, 
don't know what to say. But it's not bad though. I would have done less with the sauce that's on it. I think it's just too much. It don't taste bad. It's just too much sauce. But pizza can I eat? Pizza? I'm gonna give me a thick crust though. Huh? Wow. Well, that tell you it's too much um, sauce. That's cheese alone. That's what I'm cheese to this. And the butter is very butter and cheesy. I got this dead for Umbria Cuba. That's just that. Make an ASAP. We need to go to Jamaica ASAP. Went to a restaurant and we ordered pollo and two pieces. One piece I had. He can't carry out. He can't eat. He won't eat anything. I don't do that to my. No, I don't eat anything. Oh, no, it's a blur. Let me start over. Guys, so we made a stop. At a local restaurant, we ordered two pizzas and pollo. I ordered fried chicken, however, it came with some pumpkin, pumpkin and some green stuff. I didn't like it, so I asked him if he could just give me the chicken only, which he did. It was much better, but it was very bland no salt, no pepper, no seasoning whatsoever. Perry, on the other hand, him can travel, him can eat every and anything. Him not fussy. That's not true. I don't eat any and everything. You eat I'm most also, things. I'm very fussy, however. I'm eating to sustain. I'm eating to sustain myself right. and I know the ingredients of what I'm eating. Okay, the, it's a the pizza. cheese, the cheese here. A cheese bread. It's like a turn. A sauce. In case, in case we get sick, we can't tell the doctor what we eat. Right. And I got to add in a pollo frita with no pumpkin and some. I don't know. I don't know what I eat. We never know. It's going to come like that. No I'm matter, just cheese and sauce, but it's I'm not it's not tomato sauce. sauce. It's mom. like a watered down version of something that they made. Because it's the second pizza spot I'm seeing with that same sauce. Nonetheless, we did we did a good deed. We supported a local business. It's Sunday and this it's Father's Day. It's Sunday and the streets of Santiago they're empty. So the trans we had to use Google Translate to actually help us. So Kevin had to go back and download it on his phone so we can use it. So we're trying to find some souvenirs right now. I'll watch the bookstore, watch um Sangsters. What kind of, what are you doing? Yeah, so it's pretty sunny today. What kind of video are you doing? <laughs> So, a lot of shelves are always empty here in Cuba. So like you might see something, and you go in the store, and they literally have nothing in the fridge, nothing for sale. The shelves are always, well, most likely empty. Yeah. Um, just walking through. Wi-Fi is such a delicacy. 
No, I didn't expect someone. I cannot make it. Uh, everywhere is closed. So. God tours for having me. I had the best time in Cuba. I love everything about Cuba. I love the simplicity. I love the culture. I love the vibes. I love that every turn there's music playing. Everybody's so friendly. It's just the food. It's just the food really threw me off. Bring your snacks. Bring your cup soup. Bring your sauces. Bring your desserts. Bring your liquor bars. Bring your gay trade. All the things that you enjoy eating. Just bring your stuff and you'll be okay. Bring your little tin stuff that you can put together some stuff to eat in case you're hungry. But Santiago de Cuba, you owe me nothing and I cannot wait to come back. Thank you so much, Chagad Torres. Big up yourself, Whitney, Rabina, Meredith, Josephina, and the team. I had a great time in Cuba. It's time to head on out, guys. Mwah. I'm just amazed by the Cuban culture and this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. And if you're worried about Cuba not having the best hotels, there are some fabulous hotels here. If you want some more information, definitely DM Chagat Tours. Find them on all socials and they will help you with your next destination. Okay? Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, share. And of course, go check out my Instagram page. I posted some lovely pictures and content from Cuba. And I'll see you in my next vlog. Had a time. I had a very good time. This is a Cuba vlog. Yes, yes. Yeah, yes, I had yes. a time for sure, sister. Will you be back? Um, and somebody else's money, and if they invite me, sure. And my own money, no. Okay. Right. And more likely Havana. Oh, Havana. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, that's that. Y'all had a time. Right. Oh, excellent. Excellent. Well. When I finish. That's a wrap, guys. Bye. Thank you.